Hello, my fans. Welcome back to today's tutorial. Before we go forward to the to, to, to today's tutorial, I want to say a very big thank you to my returning subscribers and those who are stopping by for the first time. I want to say welcome and also don't forget to leave without subscribing to support my channel. So today in our tutorial, we are going to make a firefighter costume. I'm actually making it for my little girl um, for about six years in her school. They are going to have career week and she says she wants to be a firefighter, that I should make firefighter costume for her. So I'm going to try out that now and also I deem it wise to make a video and post in my YouTube for parents who might have problem with making out a, making a something like that so you can also benefit from the tutorial so let's go to the cutting table so i have with me my materials for this tutorial so this is about one one quarter of trouser length my ruler my chart my measuring tape and my reflective material i could not get on the an unused one so what i did i have to buy this reflective vest and lose i have to lose out the the things i needed from it because I, this is very important for a firefighter dress so let's start by folding, putting our materials on fold. So, her round hip measurement is, I'm starting with the trouser first, and her round hip measurement is 26 inches. When you divide it by four, it will be giving us about five three quarter, while her round lap measurement is 17 inches. And when you divide it by four, by two, Round lap is 17 inches. When you divide it, will be giving you eight and a half. So I'm using that eight and a half to put my fabric on fold. I'm cutting both the front and the back at the same time because it's for a kid. But if it's for an adult, I will cut the front first and I use the front to cut the back. But this, I'm cutting everything at the same time. So, I'm, so I put my fabric on fold of four. This is my startup line. I have about one and a half inches here before my startup line. This one and a half inches is for the elastic. I'm, I'm not putting band, I'm using elastic, one inch elastic. So, all my measurements now, I have to put my tape is like this so that my measurement will start from one inch because by the time I put the elastic, it's still part of the length. So, I now got my full length of. 26 inches and also now got two inches for my folding allowance at the hem so now on fold uh, my round lap is is eight and a half but i have here 10 inches i added one and a half inches so now i'm going to input my hip measurement so i'm starting on this pieces side to input my hip measurement i'm using my hip measurement on the waist and also on my crotch depth line this is my waistline my crotch depth line and the full length i didn't take any knee measurement because it's going to be a very free trouser so starting on this pieces side i'm going to take my hip measurement so the hip measurement uh, round hip of 26 inches divided by 4 will give me about 6.5 inches. So I'm taking my 6.5 inches from this point now. This is my 6.5 inches. I will also measure the same thing at my crotch depth line. I will now add two inches at this my cross depth line. So I'm going to connect and also I'll connect the lines together. 
this way then at this crotch now i have to connect from this my hip measurement to the two inches i added i will do that with a curve so from there now my round ankle the round ankle i'm using for this uh, tutorial is 13 inches that is six and a half when you divide it by two so i'm going to take my six and a half on this hemline but before that i have to get the mid of this 10 inches that is five inches so i'm going to get five inches here so i'm going to measure three and quarter on both sides this way three and quarter here three and quarter so i will connect it to my hip so i'm going to connect from this point now to my hemline Then I also do same from this my two inches I added here to also the hemline. So this is what I have now. So but I'm not going to leave it like this. So I'm going to add one one inch. I will add one inch here. I will add one inch here. I will add one inch here. Then I will connect it and cut it out. So as you can see, I've added it, I also connected it here, then I've ruled my line to the one inch I added here. So now I'm going to cut this out now. I'll fold it in here this way to cut so that I will get exactly the same thing. So on this side also I'll cut from here. This is it now. This is what I have. This is for both the front and the back. So the next thing we are going to cut now is the top. Okay, now we are going to start with the front. I've put my fabrics on fold of two. I'm cutting the front first before the back of the top. So I have here, you can see I root a line here. So this side I have four inches. This is for my bottom placket and also the facing for the back bottom placket. I have four inches there. If you are making it for adult, you can use as, as much as five inches. So all my measurement is going to start from this line towards this side. Now I'm taking my shoulder measurement of five and three quarter inch. 
this is my shoulder measurement and I'm coming down by half an inch for the slope so from here I'm taking my armhole measurement the angle measurement of six and a half inches. This is the, that is this line I've already ruled here now. That is for the armhole measurement. That's chest line. This is my chest line. Now this is where I will input my bust, round bust measurement. So the, now I'm going to draw my armhole line now. This is my armhole line, and I'm going to curve it. So I've curved my armhole. Now the neck I'm working with is uh, the neck depth I'm working with is two and a half inches. The neck width I'm working with is two and a half inches, and also the neck depth I'm working with is two and a half inches. Also, so I'm also curving the neckline. I've curved the neckline. So these two and a half inches, I'll also measure it on this my allowance I added here also because I'll connect it. So when I'm cutting now, I will cut this way to this way. So now I'm going to connect to my shoulder slope. connected to the slope so the next thing I'm going to do now is to input the round uh, bust measurement of 24 inches 24 inches divided by 4 will give me 6 inches so I'm going to input from this line now that's where I will start I will input my 6 inches here then I will input one and a half inches for allowance so at the down part here I'm going to input my hip measurement of 26 in that is that that would be six and a half inches so i'm going to plus two inches that will be eight and a half inches so i'm going to input eight and a half inches that is this point here so now i'm going to connect it This is what I have here now. So at this my bottom placket I, 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 I measured here. From this line here, I'm going to measure one and a half inches towards me. One and a half inches towards the folded side. So I'm taking one and a half inches. Remember, I took four inches and I'm taking four and one and a half inches. That means it's remaining two and a half inches now. So now I'm going to cut this out now so so this side now i'm going to fold it in from this line i'll fold it in this way make sure the you are folding in is from that my one and a half inches i measured i'm going to fold it in I hope you are seeing it. This is the one and a half inches point. From this one and a half inches, I folded it in. So now I'm going to cut the arm, the neckline now. So I'm working it now and not this point. That's my one and a half inches point. I have to notch it. I've done that. So this is it for the front. Then I'll cut here open. it open now so we have two in two pieces for the front now so I'll keep this outside now I, I, I'm sloping the shoulder here 
I'll keep this aside now. Then I'll fold fabrics for the back. So I put the fabrics on fold of two, and I've also you can see I've I've placed the front fabrics on my this thing. So I'm going to trace it out on it now. I'm not tracing out everything. So the neckline, I will use one inch for the back, but I'm tracing the three inches to know where the neckline falls, but I'm not cutting it that way. So I'm removing the back, the front now. So for my neck, neck depth for the back now, I'm taking one inch. So I'm taking one inch now. So I'm connecting it now. So this is where I will cut from. I'm not cutting from this three, two and a half inches. I'm cutting from here now. Okay. Now I'm going to connect this way and this way. This for the back now. So the back is going to have a vent at the back. So at this my center back now, I'm going to measure two inches. I'll take it down two inches for the vent for the vent that will be at the back it is going to have a vent at the back so i'm going to connect it this way so now my, my neckline for the back will extend to this also Now I'm cutting from this line, not from this line. It's like when you're adding zipper allowance. So this is for the, the vents that I will put at the back. So I'm going to cut from this line now. So the cutting will go this way now. Remember my neckline for the back is one inch. So I'm taking the one inch now. So this is the shoulder to the armhole. Then I'll put that this. So now I'm going to cut this down straight. That means for the front, I'm having two pieces for the front and also two pieces for the back. Then I'll go this way. So, this is for the back. So now I'm going to sew my reflective patch on it. So, this, if you see, I'm not here. This is where my folding will stop. So from this, where my folding will stop, I will go in by one inch. Then I will sew it on it this way. On the four leg, on the four fabrics for the leg. On four pieces for the leg. I will just go up by one inch and now top stitch my reflective patch on it then for the body for the body i've joined it so for the trouser i'm going to sew the crotch with half an inch and also half an inch first so for the back uh, piece for the top i'm going to sew at this line 
I'll sew it straight from the neck to the hem for this back. That's what I'm going to do now. Then, when I'm done doing it, I will now join the shoulders with this front fabrics. So, for this uh, back and front piece, I'm going to, from the shoulder, I will measure what I have here. I have 18 inches here. I'm going to remove uh, one and a half for folding in here. So I'll be left with 16 and a half. So I will get the mid of that 16 and a half inches, which will be eight and quarter. So I'll measure eight and quarter from my shoulder. So at that eight and quarter inch, that is where I will centralize this on the, the two back and the, the two Okay guys, I'm done with my top stitching. Can see it. So this is the second part of the trouser. I've also top stitched. So now I'm going to put the trouser right side facing each other. Then I bring the crotch together this way. Arrange the leg. You see it? See that everything matched here. So I'm going to sew from this crotch down, also from this crotch down to this. Remember, it is right side facing each other. from the crotch down, from the crotch down. So when I'm done stitching the crotch, I will also sew the two sides. This is the two, the side. I will sew the side down. Then I will also sew this leg also down. So I'm going to sew my breast pocket to it. This is what I will use as a breast pocket. I will also try to substitute the reflective on this one also. I will first substitute the reflective. Meanwhile, these are my allowances I added. Then the size I use for this, because it's for a small child, I use the um, four, and half, four and quarter of an, four and a half inch by four three quarter of an inch so that's what i use then i added my allowance so i will top stitch the reflective on it then i will come down from my shoulder i'm going to come down by six inches so from this six, six inches now that's where i will start to fix this my breast pocket so this is how it will look like i will just top stitch it this way this way and this way okay now for the top of it i'm going to also turn it right side facing each other this way then i will sew the sides i will also do same to this right side facing each other this way i will also sew the side press the start button okay Okay, now to the collar. We well, want to measure the collar so that we can cut it. So there's something I want to explain to you on this collar. It's not like our the normal collar that we are used to. So remember, this is where our neckline started. See the notch. So this collar now is going to. When by the time I'm done sewing this cloth now, it's going to be on top of each other this way. You see it. To stop here you see the way it is so I'm going to measure from this point the color is going to start from inside here this notch here now I will measure it round round to here then I will add like two inches extra or one and a half inches extra that I will use to lock the color on the neck by the time I'm done sewing 
Okay, now we are going to measure the, our color now so that we will know what we are cutting as the color. So, starting from here now, I'm going to measure it this way. This way. This way. You can I, as well fold it into two and measure it. But I like going this way. This way. This way. So I, here I have, from this notch, now I can see it, I have 18 and half inches. But I'm going to add 2 inches to it to make it 20 and half inches. That is what I use to cut my color. While the, this is the length, the, the height, the length of the, my round neck. The round neck I'm using with, what you're working with now is 20 and half inches. While the height of my color I want the color height to be two inches. In that case, I'll add one inch for seam allowance. That means my color height that I'm cutting now will be three inches. Remember, it's just a straight cutting like the way this step is. I'm not cutting it the way we cut the normal color, neck color that we are used to. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now is to fix my velcro because I'm not putting button on this uh, on this dress. So this is what a velcro looks like. I hope all of us know it. So now, when you look at it, it has two different sides. So this side that is so coarse that is rough is going to be on the right side of the fabric it's going to be somewhere here it's going to i will sew it here till down why this will be sewn here on this part very close to the this is my folding i will sew it till down so by the time i'm done sewing I will, it will be closed like this. On um, fire service clothes doesn't have bottles. They don't. If you look at it, fire service dry clothes very well. You won't see any button on it. It's velcro they use on it. So this velcro also, I'm going to use it on the collar. So same way on this side that is going to be in, inside. When I, by the time I fix my collar here now from here this way i will have something like this let me just use my pin to fix it so that you understand what i'm saying okay this is my color now i've attached it and i have excess remember i added excess so i said it's going to be a standing color by the time i'm done with it it's going to stand this way I'm going to be a standing color like this so now i'm going to fix velcro here now and also on this part so that by the time i'm done wearing it i can now use the velcro to close the collar i don't know if you understand it now by the time i put the velcro and use it to close the collar the color will be standing together this way so that's what i'm going to do now i fix on the color and also on this side okay for the trouser now i'm going to fold in here i fold in like quarter of an inch then i will fold in one inch for my elastic because i'm going to put elastic at this waist then I will also fold the hem of the trouser. I will fold in half an inch. Then I will fold in one and a half inches this way. And I will sew it. Hope you are seeing it. I will sew. That's what I will do for the trouser now. So I'm done sewing. And this is what I have for my firefighter's costume. <laughs> I'm, I so much love this. Yes, you can give it a try. And don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe to my channel to support me. Thank you and God bless.